Hello there and welcome to my new YouTube series Chris Tourbook or my tourbook. This is going to be a place where you can see more of pretty much everything that I'm doing. It could be anything from discussing the issues in the music industry with myself. Maybe you have some answers, you can put them in the comments. Maybe trying out bass sounds for a new song, writing songs, follow along on tours to all different cities to see what's happening behind the stage as an audio tech, as a bass player, and also what I'm doing when I'm not doing music. It's gonna be pretty much everything in this vlog. Hopefully I will be able to release an episode every Sunday evening. We will see about that. And please feel free to leave a comment if there's anything particular that you want to see more of, or if there's just something that is not of interest. So I know how to make the best video episodes of my life. And of course with me, I have my good crew, Waffles and Geezer helping out to make some noise. So welcome to Chris Torbok and uh, enjoy. I'm in the rehearsal space and we're gonna do some like miking drums to record some new music. Just by looking at the drum kit, you might guess what the band is about to record some new music. And there is Rickard. Hello. Tuning his drums. Yes. Is it going good? Uh, I think so. No. You're just messing them up. Yeah, I know. I borrowed some of these big like stage drops that I'm gonna put in the roof. And then we have some of our Majestica sidewalls that we're gonna put around the drums. We're gonna build like a little room in here. Some people out there might remember the Inception Room of Doom. And I think this is Inception Room of Doom number two. So yeah, see you in a bit. As it is a Tuesday, I'm gonna pack some merchandise. My main days of packing merchandise is Tuesday and Thursday. For my merch store, banger.rocks. So here I need to cut out all the shipment information for everyone that I have pre-prepared for this video. It takes a lot of time. I have been thinking of buying myself one of those uh, printers with glue and everything, so it's easy to sort out. It works like this, that my studio, my small little studio where I'm doing my mixing work and all that stuff is also my warehouse for my merch store. So it's a little bit of everything going on in here. Now that was done, let's figure out what they ordered. That's oh. <laughs> and like always, you know, as there's a lot of stuff going on all the time, there's always a fucking mess with everything. So you just throw it all away, throw it all away, throw it all away, and then you take care of it another day, which will never be another day. So for this order we have some wisdom stuff, so we're gonna get one of the medium sized long sleeves. Ta-da! Very nice. And we're gonna have some uh, uh, Majestica stuff as well. When I'm sitting here preparing all these orders, I am listening to one uh, new cool like doom grunge band that I have uh, discovered called High Priest. I think they are from Chicago. They have released their new album Invocation and I really like that one. You should go check it out. Yeah, so this order has vinyl in it, so we're gonna use a vinyl box with a Christmas Carol vinyl. I'm gonna throw a little bonus Christmas gift, a majestic Christmas card. Up. One done! Few more to go today. These in the vinyl box, as you can see, takes a little bit of time to sort out, but that's because it's much more folding than with a regular letter. So, but it would be nice to have that printer machine that actually makes you, that I don't need to tape these shipment details on and stuff, that it actually has a glue on it, so you just glue them on and it's just done. That would be nice. And Every time I'm packing one of these and I'm filling out these custom decorations, I always write the date in a way that we would write it in Sweden. So I'm always thinking, what are they thinking in America, which are not using the date in the same way. I'm wondering if they are standing there, you know, looking at the letter and like, this was sent in the 20th month of the year. That doesn't exist. So how, when did they send this? It would be fun to know if anyone works at the custom declaration office and if they look at that and think about that. That was another one. Let's continue. I just watched the new Ahsoka episode, which will be episode six when this video hits YouTube. And I have one big question, one big issue actually. What is going on when traveling in hyperspace? There is all these colors going on. There has never been all these colors when traveling in hyperspace in Star Wars. It's only been 
What? I don't get this. Check this out. Check this out. What is that? All these colors. It should be more dark. This is too much Disney. I will say, please Disney, delete that. End of discussion. Boo! Now we have built the um, new Doom of Mess Studios, or what's yeah. the name of it? I don't know. I think it's this. Doom of Mess. Mess Doom. of Doom Studios. Mess of Doom. Yeah, Mess of Doom. Mess of Doom. Because it's a big mess. So now we are gonna do this stuff here, where we're gonna record a couple of different snares. Yeah. And then we're gonna do a couple of different kicks before setting up all the mics for the drum set. The mics are going into that box, which is then sending audio over to the mixing, to the sound booth. And here is the new Inception Room of Doom. Very nice with red lights in the background. It got pretty dry, so it would be nice. And then I'm gonna go and check out the very nice sound booth that I have created, like right here. So this has a real industrial feeling to it. So I have an old sofa with a mixing desk, and this is my place. Of course, I'm gonna take the computer home and mix it in my studio later on. So this is just for monitoring what's going on on the recording, and then I'm gonna go back home and have a look and hear how it sounds properly. We just recorded some hits with the first snare drum, and uh, now we're gonna change the drums. So we did a few hits with this small piccolo snare. Now we're gonna take a deeper snare and record a few hits with that one. I don't know, is it a Gretsch one maybe? So we're gonna record a few different drums, first snares and then kicks, and then we're gonna use them and blend them together to get some nice sound on the actual tracks. Nice stuff. I don't know what I'm doing, but hopefully it will be good. You never know. Time to mic drum kit for some real recordings. Jo, visst, ser du. Men vi tar inte. När vi ändå har det här upp här nu. Det kändes som att det var bättre när vi hade fått tempot lite grann där. En T. Plocka, 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 plocka. Today it's very typical Swedish fall weather, or Swedish all year weather. But it's actually great temperature, so I, I like it anyway, even if it's raining a lot. It looks pretty nice. Check this out. And check this out. A wild geezer appeared. Hello there, geezer. Yeah. In my studio, checking out the drum sounds a little bit, just testing with a couple of plugins to see how it would, you know, that it works good and that it sounds great. Just to like check what you can do with it. Even if this is not like a proper mixing or whatever, I'm just yeah, like, just testing it out. And the result I think is pretty damn good actually with nothing, with nothing processed really, just sounds good. What a big snare. Nice, oi, oi, oi. Time for another song for this uh, new single stuff coming up. And we have some extra toms coming here. Can you show us extra stuff that's going on? Give us a sound check. Sound check, extra tom. Ooh. And a small tom. Together. Big sounds for a really cool song. Excited to show that one to you guys later. Nice! Another one done. Great stuff. On my way to Charlottenberg for a little late call audio tech job tonight at a place called Escape Bar, I think. It's the artist 250, 250 kilos of love or 250 kilos of Apparently it's like an Oktoberfest party. So I guess it's gonna be a hell of a party actually tonight. Charlottenberg is very close to the Norwegian border in the county of Värmland. 
in the southern part, I would say. And right now it's just a lot of woods everywhere. Here I am in Charlottenberg at the escape bar. So check this out. Here is the stage. And I'm mixing on the side today. Also using the iPad to walk around between the, the tables. Here is the Allen Heat SQ5 that I'm using today. I set it up a little bit for tonight's show already. The band is not here yet, so... It's gonna be an intense night, I can tell you that. Outside the bar. You can see the bar right there, the entrance. And let's uh, check out this main street. It's not the biggest town in Sweden. <laughs> this is Kalotenberg Main Street, I think. It's the only street that I have seen, so I guess it is the main street. I don't know. And here is the venue. Yeah. That is about it of Charlottenberg. They also have a really big shopping mall here where there is a lot of like border shopping from Norway going on. So that's really big, so th but that's outside the city. So uh, I'm not there. I can't show you that. And here you have it. Charlottenberg by night. Probably they have a train station here. Good to know if you want to go to Charlottenberg. But I'm not sure actually. So look it up. Better. Down. It's a big six. Are you ready? This is for you. From my place. It's pretty late, 3 a.m. and I'm back home. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Cheers.